Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an update for my latest project pan. This is the second project pan that I've been working on this year and this is going to be the second update. Um, so let's just hop right in. So for last month's update, I finished off two products. I finished off my Mali eyeliner, which I really loved. And then I also finished off my Defrizz styling treatment from Living Proof. And then um, over the course of the last month, I finished off six more products. Well, maybe five products. Um, I will show you this one first. This is my Mary Kay bronzer in the color light medium. Um, my goal initially in this project was to just hit pan on it, which I did as of the last update. Um, but then I decided that I was going to keep using this product until the end of June, which is when this project ends. However, I think I'm gonna throw in the towel on this product because I just really don't like it. And I've got a bunch of other bronzers that I do like that I wanna use. Um, I got this for free from Influencer a couple of years ago, so it's not like I paid for this. Um, if I had paid for it, I probably would use it till the end, but because I don't like it, it's just this like odd color. It's got this weird like satiny finish to it as well. Definitely not my favorite. Um, obviously, I would never repurchase this. Um, so because of that, I think I'm just going to throw in the towel with this product. I'm going to call it quits. I'm going to probably just uh, declutter it. I don't like it, so um, I am going to be calling this one done, even though um, there is a lot of product left. But again, my initial goal was just to hit pan on it. All right, now moving on to all the stuff that I did finish over the last month. The first thing I finished off was my Tarte BB Cream. This is in the color light, and this is just the small travel size. So I did purchase this. This was not a free sample. Um, this stuff is okay. It's not my favorite. Um, it doesn't give a whole lot of coverage, but this is kind of meant to be used as a primer, it says, but you can just use it on its own, and that's typically how I used it. Um, I don't think I would repurchase this. I would probably want to try like a different kind of BB cream just because I like to try new products, um, but if I ever got another sample of this, I definitely would use it. Um, it wasn't bad, and I did like how it had the SPF 30 in there, um, but yeah, I'm glad I'm done with it so I can move on to something else. The next item is my perfume. This was the Sophisticated and Sensual Perfume. I got this in an Ipsy bag last year. This was from the company um, My Aromacology. I really loved this scent and I thought this was a nice size that they gave out from Ipsy. Um, I know a lot of subscription boxes just give out those teeny tiny little samples, but this I actually got a lot of use out of and you can see my progress here. So this started out as nearly full and I was able to finish this up completely. Like I said, I really do like this scent. Um, I've just got so many different scents right now, so many different perfumes and perfume samples that I'm not going to repurchase and I think these are pretty pricey, um, but it was a really, really nice scent. I did really enjoy it. Then here's my Benabalm Lip Gloss or Tinted Lip Balm. I was almost done with this as of the last update and I probably had like three more uses out of this. Um, and I did finish this all up. I do like this product. It feels really nice on the lips. I like how it has a little bit of hint of color Color, um, but I would not purchase a full size of this. This was just like a little sample that I got in a little kit that I had purchased or I think my husband purchased for me. Um, like I said, I would not repurchase because it is really expensive for what it is and I've got a dupe for it. I think it's an e.l.f. tinted lip balm that actually is pretty good. This one I do like better, um, but for the price I think I'm just going to stick with the e.l.f. Here's the other hair care product that I had in this project. This was from Tony and Guy. Um, this is the Volume Plumping Whip. It also says that it is from Sophia Webster. This stuff is okay. It's not my favorite, but I was able to finish this completely. I got this on clearance at Target, so I don't even know if this stuff is made anymore. Um, I probably wouldn't purchase it even if it was because there are other like volume whips um, that I've used that I like better, namely the Kevin Murphy one. I'm still really contemplating purchasing that one because it was so, so nice. I got a little sample of that in um, an Allure Beauty box last year. Um, and this one was similar to that, but it was not nearly as good. Um, so I wouldn't purchase this, but it was fine to use, but I'm glad that I am finished with it. And then moving on to the last item that I finished this month, I'm so, so excited that I was able to finish my What's Up highlighter from Benefit. Um, I completely finished it off, as you can see here. Um, this stuff I've complained about since the beginning of the year. This was a rollover product from my first project pan, um, and I actually, in the last month, started using this a little bit differently. I started putting this um, as an eye base all over my eyes, and that worked pretty well. And then um, when I was applying it to my cheeks and um, down the middle of my face as a highlight, instead of just gliding the product right over my face like I had been doing, I actually um, picked it up with a brush. And I liked how that worked a lot better. Um, I do have another one of these, so if I ever decide to start working on that one, um, I'm going to use it with a brush um, and as an eye base. I like that too. But that really kind of changed my opinion on this product. And because I was using it with a brush, I just thought it went on so much better. It blended out better. Um, so I kind of like this product now. I'm definitely happy to be done 
with it because I just had worked on this for so long. Um, but I don't hate this product as much as I used to, so that was nice. All right, then moving on to the last two products that I have not finished for this project. The first one I will show you is my Kaylin Eye Polish. This is in the color Orchid. I love using this stuff. It's really, really easy to apply. I don't know if I've even ever shown you guys on the applicator. It's basically like an eye polish type deal for your eye. Um, it's just got this little foam applicator here. And it just makes it very, very easy to apply on your eyelids, just great for um, on the go. Um, so I do really like this and I will show you the progress that I've made. So up at the purple line is where I started, then last month I was in the middle and then I'm all the way down at um, this bottom line here. I know it doesn't look like I've made much progress on this, which is frustrating because I have used this a ton. So there's no way that I'm going to finish this up by next month, which is going to be the finale for this project. Um, but I'm just going to keep on working on it. Like I said, I do really like this product, it's just super easy just throw on um, as I'm running out the door or whatever. So I probably will roll this over to my next project. I'm not entirely sure because I've got a lot of other eyeshadows that I'm working on for my Pan That Palette this year. So I'm kind of torn as to whether I'm going to continue with this product after next month. Um, but I really do like it and hopefully um, by the finale I can make a little bit more progress than I did this month. All right, and then onto my very last product for this project. This is my All May lipstick. This is in the color Berry Light. I like this lipstick, and again, um, I don't think I made nearly enough progress this month. I used this a lot, but unfortunately, I just kind of forgot to reapply throughout the day, so that's why there isn't a lot of progress being shown here. Um, but let me show you how I've done. So here is my progress with the lipstick. I think maybe I did a little bit more during the first month than the second month for this project. Um, again, I just kind of forgot to reapply this um, throughout the day, but I have been using this pretty consistently. So going forward for the next month, I don't know that I will finish this in this next project um, or for this project um, by the next update, but I just need to try to remember to reapply this multiple times during the day. It's a very nice consistency, so this does kind of work as a lip balm, so I need to kind of remember that and use this as a lip balm instead of just like as a lipstick. I can put this on at night, you know, and just kind of have it um, be a, like a lip balm, as I said. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll just remember to use it and I will get this done. But I won't be surprised if I don't finish it and I'll need to roll it over to the next project. Um, and if I do, this will probably go really fast. There won't be too much left, I don't think. So that's everything for this project pan update. I think I did really well in the last month since I only have two items left and then next month will be the finale and then I'm um, starting on July 1st, I will start a new project with a whole bunch of new products. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and we can also connect on Instagram. I will have my link listed down below and I post over there all the time. Um, and thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.